Will Monfer 3 have third person in it? Okay. What's going on, guys? Merc Squad TV here. And in today's video, we talking about the topic that is the most important for the third person community. Will Monfer 3 offer the third person team tactical into multiplayer? And what is my answer to it? Do I believe it's going to be in the game or do I do I not? Well, I'm going to answer that question right off the top, man. I don't think third person is going to be a mom for three. And I have a couple of reasons why. Now, before I say that, okay, well, before I finish with that, I'm just going to let you know, man, that I'm about 70% sure that third person is not going to be in Call of Duty. I still open myself up to 30%, okay? I'm not completely blind thinking that Mom for 3 is not going to have third person. However, based off of past events, okay, from this year, from back in the day, I just believe, man, I'm just 70% confident that third person is, I mean, this is going to be the last Call of Duty for a while that is going to have third person, man. That It's just, it, it just seems like, you know, that's just the real way to take it, man. You know, and it does suck as a third person player, man. So to start it off, man, I've been playing on for two, 2009. That's the first Call of Duty that I ever played, okay? Yes, when I played the game, I started playing it in first person. However... Once I got to the high enough rank to play third person, man, I started playing third person. I enjoyed third person. I enjoyed looking at your character, seeing the move, looking around the area, okay, before you hit a corner. Rather than getting fucking sniped as soon as you pop around a corner, okay, by some fucking phase boy, okay? I enjoyed that type of gameplay, man. I enjoyed, like, calling out or watching an objective, playing game modes in third person. It gave Mile for 2 a good feel, man. And from time to time, I would play first person and third person, okay? However, I would mainly play Mon for 2 2009 just for third person, man. When the game started getting older, the only game mode I played was third person. And it's sad that, man, it took 12 years for Call of Duty to come back with a fucking third person perspective. Yes, Mon for 3 back in the day had third person. However, that shit doesn't fucking count, man. They had that shit only in private match. What the fuck is private match third person? That's a spit in the face to the fucking third person community, man. And who was behind fucking Mon for 3 back in the day? Whoop de fucking do, man. Fucking sledgehammer, man. The fucking haters of third person themselves. So with that being said, man, this is one of the reasons why I'm confident that Mon for 3 isn't going to have third person, bro. Facts. Now, like I said, man, I still am 30% that Mon for 3 or on October 5th when they reveal the fucking multiplayer, they might surprise us, man. I'm, I'm confident that 30%, man, I'm going to be surprised that they're going to show some third-person play style. However, like I said, man, that's 70%, man. Like, I, I just don't see them really doing that, man, you know? Um, I mean, third person, it, it has a decent player base. I'm not saying it's the largest player base. However, it has a decent amount. It's not fucking dead, dude. You can find a fucking match just as fast as you can find a match in fucking first person, okay? Call of Duty's problem, man, is that they want to implement all these fucking game modes into a Call of Duty when people just want the simple shit. Domination, capture the flag, search and destroy, and probably kill confirmed. You don't need all these different versions of those game modes, man. Nobody, There's going to be nobody in the fucking game that's going to sit there, unless it's a fucking noob, that's going to select every game mode on the quick play feature, okay? We don't want 20, 30 different game modes, bro. All we want is a good Call of Duty, okay? And Call of Duty was the best when it only had three, four game modes. Not when they have fucking 20 different game modes, man. Call of Duty just seems like it's a beta within itself they just adding a bunch of shit to see what works but at the end of the day man they're not adding the shit that people want in the game and for the third person community man like we've been stuck in fucking team deathmatch uh, since season three and before season three they've been taking fucking third person on and off of fucking call of duty trying to piss off the third person community but we only have one fucking game mode to play okay 
So it's like, why do I think that a fucking developer who was in charge of working on Mom for Two at the time, okay? Why do why would I think that they are going to be adding third person to Mom for Three? Okay. Now they hear the community, man. The third person community come. We, we talk, okay. We ask the questions. These motherfuckers don't want to answer, man. They're haters. The people inside of Activision who work on Call of Duty, who's not Infinity Ward, are fucking haters of adding third person to the game, man. I don't know why they're just so up on core for first person gameplay. When you can add more of a player base if you fucking just focus on shit that's going to basically make the game better. It's going to add new players. Third person is a new perspective, which means new players. People who play third person shooters, okay, like Ghost Recon, Sokem, okay, Sokem, however you fucking pronounce that shit, okay. People who play third person RPGs are going to want to play, are, are, are going to be motivated to come play third person Call of Duty, GTA, people who play GTA. Like, there's just so many games out there, man, that will add to the lifelong partnership of Call of Duty if you motherfuckers just add a simple game fucking camera, okay? All right, and mention I didn't say Fortnite, but Fortnite's another game. However, I don't really want a lot of kids coming from Fortnite. But is it any different, okay? Do we not have kids on this? How many times do you run into adults more than kids? I run into fucking kids on Call of Duty more than fucking adults most of the time, man. Half of the time they ain't got no fucking mic, but you can tell that the way they play, they got to be five, four years old. So regardless of third persons here or the reason why they don't want it in the game because it's going to draw a lot of attention from people from Fortnite, man, that's not even an argument because more grown people play fucking Fortnite than the kids okay it seems like it's reverse in this world more fucking adults will play a kid game and more fucking kids will play a fucking m for mature game that's why we got all this fucking voice chat bullshit in the game and we got all these stupid ass operator skins in the game and battle passes are 10 30 dollars because motherfucking kids are infiltrating and destroying the m for mature player base okay so, with that being said, man, like, it's already here, man. So, regardless if third person will attract Fortnite players or not, the motherfuckers at Fortnite are probably older than the motherfuckers that play Call of Duty at this point. So, make it make sense, man. Please make it make sense. So, with that being said, okay, with that being said, Sledgehammer Games been in charge of working on MW2 since... The first year Mom for Two was released, okay. Infinity Ward only worked on their game, okay. They only kept up with the game, adding patch notes and stuff for the first year Mom for Two was out, okay. After that, they split the game up into different companies at Activision to work on different things on Mom for Two, okay. Why they did this, I don't understand. I don't know, okay. I guess the, the I guess there's so many fucking developers at Activision that work on Call of Duty games. There's so much different companies at Call of Duty that they all just pitched in, okay. However, when they pitched in, they tried to change shit because they wanted certain shit to be in the game that wasn't in the game, or they didn't see Infinity Ward's perspective, so they wanted to do their own thing. That's why once Raven Software got in charge of Warzone, they took war they took third person out immediately. The first fucking thing they did was take third person out. Okay? That's why when Sledgehammer Games took over the multiplayer aspect, okay, which they've been in charge of since Monfer 2 came out, okay, since season two, okay, of Monfer 2. That's why. We've been having fucking third person come on and off the game, okay? Because once the other developers from the other Call of Duties came in and took over the Monfer 2, Activision was no longer working on it no more. Activision, I don't know what happened. I don't know why they decided to do that, okay? Why they couldn't just work on their game for a year? Why they decided to fucking let all the other developers from the other Call of Duties that give us the same shit every year work on the Call of Duty? Okay, but that that's what it was. That's what happened. Okay, so with that being said, man, like looking at the past, MW3 back in the day, 
not having third person in it after Modern Warfare 2, third person was one of the big was a big popular game mode back in the day. Okay, they didn't add it. They added it in fucking private match. Okay, so with that being said, man, this is why I don't think Sledgehammer Games is going to add third person to Modern Warfare 3. It's real simple. Now, the only time we're gonna know, okay, if they add it or not is october 5th bro if they don't show anything about third person october 5th i'm about fucking 95 percent sure that third person is not gonna be a mom for three and if that's the case man i'm not pre-ordering that shit don't give these motherfuckers a hundred dollars i don't see why we have people in the community man that want to give people money for something that they didn't even fucking see yet you didn't even see what Modern Warfare 3 looked like. You only fucking saw a two-minute fucking cinematic clip, and these motherfuckers are already trying to pre-order, man. We need to get those motherfuckers out the community, man. But with that being said, man, that's my opinion on MW3 in third person. I'll see you motherfuckers in the next one, man. Peace!